This is the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry, and in this episode, we're going to cover how to configure Power Ethernet, uh, in particular on the ICX series this time. So, by default, uh, PoE is disabled on all of our ports, so we need to go in and, and, and enable that. So, if we go into Config T, uh, and we'll do a range of ports, so 111 to 118 in this example. Um, so, to just turn on PoE with its default parameters, we just type inline power. And that's all there is to it. So inline power is now on, and we can see here it's giving me a message on the console to say that power is enabled on port 1 slash 1 slash 8. So indeed, I have a PoE device plugged into port 1 slash 1 slash 8. It happens to be an IP camera in this case, but it could be a phone, it could be an access point, it could be a terminal, it could be multiple uh, power drawing devices. Um, so to get more detail on that, I can do a show inline power. And so show inline power here is showing me that there's a total pool for the device. In this case, it's 370 watts or 370,000 milliwatts. Um, if I had redundant power or it was a different device, that number would be different. But uh, currently I have 370 watts available. Um, this is a 24 port switch, by the way. Um, and so we currently have 354.6 watts free. Um, and then if we look at the ports, we can see each port. We can see the admin state. So that's whether I've turned on inline power on those ports or not. So I turned it on for 1 to 8. It's still off for 9 to 24. Um, the operational state, so we see that it's on on 1 slash 1 slash 8. So we know there's a PoE device plugged in here. That PoE device is currently consuming 2.9 watts, but it's allocated 15.4. So the device itself, the PD, told us that it was an 802.3 AF device and that it was a class 3 device. So it needed 15.4 watts allocated. Is it really going to use 15.4 watts? I don't know, but be forewarned that just because this consume number is less than the allocated doesn't mean that that device is not capable of pulling more. So for example, if it's a if it's a phone and you have it on speakerphone, it'll pull more power than if it's on the handset. Or in this case, if it's an IP camera, uh, if the IR um, if the IR bulbs are lit, then it's going to pull more power in a in a dark scenario than it is in a full uh, sunlight scenario. So it will change the amount of power that it's consuming. So it's going to allocate the most it can possibly use. Um, it's told us it's a class 3 device, so class 3 is 15.4 watts, so uh, 4 watts, 7 watts, 15.4 watts, 30 watts, uh, 95 watts for the different power classes. Um, priority we'll talk about in a bit, and there's if there was an error, so if it was trying to pull more power than was allocated, uh, either by class or by uh, power, then it will show a fault here. Or if there was a short in the wire, for example, then it's going to show a fault here. Um, so if we wanted to be... Uh, more granular on how much power we allocate to the ports uh, rather than using the default or the or the PD class we can set a class on the port so we could do a uh, inline power um, power by class and say class 2 so we know that class 2 is 7 watts uh, so if we look back at the show inline power here I can now see um, so there's an, so this device is now pulling 4.2 4 watts, actually. Um, so we can see that it's now pulling 4.2 watts, and I've allocated 7. So even though the device is telling me it's a class 3 PD device, I've allocated class 2 to this, or 7 watts. So the most that's going to be allowed on this port is 7 watts. If a device tries to pull more than that, so if you pull, plug in a you know, dual radio access point that's trying to pull 15.4 watts, that device is going to go to, into an overload state. Uh, but in this case, I'm not pulling more than the 7, so, the, so the, it's fine. Um, I can also do, uh, instead of power by class, I could do a power limit, and I can set the limit Excuse me. I can set the limit uh, in anywhere from one watt to 30 watts, um, or in on a, on a 7450 it could be 95 watts, so anywhere in that range. Um, and it, and we set that in milliwatts, so I could say uh, 6,000, for example. 
So that means if I go back and do the show inline power, prior we were doing it by class, so we were we were doing a class two, which was seven watts or, or seven thousand milliwatts. Now we're allocating six thousand watts here, right? So it's it's consuming four point two out of out of six. Um, if I set that to a number that was too low, for example, so say I set that to four thousand. The device is, says that power is disabled in that port because of PD overload. So that, so the uh, device plugged in was trying to pull more than I had allocated to that, and so it's not going to let that power that port come up. Um, so let me set that back to a reasonable number, and then power should come up and, and uh, be restored on that port. Um, so the other thing you can do is priority. So by default. Uh, Again, if we do a show inline power, we can see that everything has a priority of three by default, which is the lowest possible priority. So they go three, two, one, so one is the highest priority. And what priority does is if the switch runs out of power in that pool, so for example, if you were running a device with dual power supplies and you had allocated more power than one power supply could handle, what happens if that second power supply fails and you don't have enough power to power all the devices? So what happens is the priority, the higher the priority, the more um, the the higher priority it is for that port to stay on. So if it's a if the priority one device, those have to stay on. So maybe those are phones, and priority two devices might be access points, and uh, you know. So you can allocate the priority, or if you've got a a call center that has to stay up. Those would be the priority one versus the desk phones, which are priority two, etc. But by default, everything is going to be priority three. So everything is the same priority. So all we got to do is set it to something better than that. So um, if I wanted to go to, um, you know, to a particular port, one slash one slash eight, and then we could do a inline power um, and give it a priority of two, for example. and then look back at the inline power, I have a priority of two on this port, which means that in the event of an emergency and I run out of power, uh, that port is going to stay on um, before all of the, the, the priority threes. So, um, so that is a good way to prioritize your most important devices. So that's it for this episode. Thanks for joining.